Do you want to make money on Amazon with low content books? But you feel like other people are leaving things out, not telling you the truth, or worse, you publish a book and only make a couple bucks. Well, today, friends, I'm going to be revealing the secrets to finding crazy Amazon low content niches you can use to profit big time. But you got to make sure to watch this entire video to learn the secrets. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today, what we're going to do is we are going to talk about Amazon low content book niches. What is a low content book? Well, quite simply, it could be something like this that, uh, you know, you can write little Santa letters or something like that. Or it could even be a blank journal with like a picture of a cat on it or something like that. I buy these all the time and someone is making a fortune because they're like 10 bucks each. Now, we got to look at this because you can't just go out there and put some blank book up and expect to get rich. There has to be a strategy behind the method. And I got to tell you, most people's strategies are not exactly the best way to go about this. But today, your old buddy Marcus is going to show you the real way to uncover untapped hot niches that you can make money in with low content books. So make sure you watch this entire video and stick around for a goldmine tip because today, part number one, I'm gonna show you the low content book overview, how it works. Part two, we're gonna talk about why most people just sit back and wait around for Amazon or buy traffic and it doesn't work out. Part number three, we're gonna show you what everyone else is doing to find niches. Part number four, I'm gonna show you my crazy beeping hack. Yes, we gotta censor this video. And that hack has everything to do with these niches and a special tool I'm gonna reveal in just a minute. Part number five, I'm gonna to talk to you about why other promotion methods might be what's stopping you from getting rich with low content books. In part number six, we're gonna talk about the stack method. And in part number seven, we're gonna to talk to you about creating your title and your book cover. So let's dive right in. So as you can see, we got a lot of good stuff to cover. And as always, if you want a copy of my notes, including the niches I find on this training, check out downloadmynotes.com. Now, let's go ahead and get into what is a low content book and how does it work. If you were to go to Amazon and type something in like notebook cat or cat notebook, you're going to see different types of notebooks and things like this, where basically it's a book of lined paper with some kind of cute thing on it. Or it could be like a things to do today or a journal or maybe even like a graph paper book or whatever it is. It's gonna be something, as the name states, with low content, meaning you don't have to write a encyclopedia to make this work. You could just do line paper or maybe a calendar or something like that. Now, number two, what most people do is they take the normal method and they're like, okay, I'm gonna put a low content book out there I'm going to wait for Amazon or I'm going to buy traffic, right? That's right. You could put some things on Amazon or if you want to be in the sponsored section showing that you're guaranteed to show up in front of people, then you can pay for that. But the problem is with these low content books, you're making like two to three dollars a sale at best, which means you can't really spend a lot on traffic. And in order to make like 300 bucks a day, you got to sell a hundred of these, which is pretty damn difficult unless you don't just rely on Amazon, which we're gonna talk about in just a minute. So part number three, let's talk about what everyone else is doing. Everyone out there is gonna go to a tool like Jungle Scout or something like that, and they're gonna type something in like journal or maybe notebook or whatever it is. And what they're gonna find is that we have the word journal with 400,000 searches a month, and if we're to buy the traffic, it's a dollar a click, which means we can't really do that. And it's difficult to get ranked on, which is difficult. Now, we can go through and say, well, maybe journal for women is a little bit easier, right? We could go through it. We could see that that one's actually pretty easy to rank for. But the question is, is it really easy? Well, let's search for it and find out. 
Well, there's actually about 70,000 results for Journal for Women. That's pretty difficult, in my opinion. Well, wait, maybe we could do something like calendar. Yeah, still looking pretty difficult. We have wall calendars, which I don't even know if you could produce on Amazon, and it looks pretty difficult. But what most people do is this. They search for something like Llama Journal. Then they go to Amazon, find a blank paper book, slap a picture of a llama on the book, list it on Amazon like this, and when someone orders, Amazon prints and sends the book and gives you a check. Seems pretty easy, right? Only the secret to making this work is in finding the right niche. Which is why you don't want to do what everyone else is doing. You want to use my super stealth method. And that brings us to number four, my crazy beeping hack. That's right, instead of just going to Jungle Scout, which is a good tool, and trying to search for stuff that works, why don't we reverse engineer what Amazon is already ranking for that gets lots of traffic and then drive that traffic from the search engines to our Amazon listing and get sales like clockwork. And we don't have to worry about ranking or competition or anything like that. Let me show you how it works. If we were to go to a tool like the Ahrefs keyword tool, which we use to find keywords to rank for on Google and other search engines, if we type Amazon in this tool, we could see that there's over 216 million keywords that it ranks for and almost a billion visitors a month. Now the difference here is very important. The difference is, if I was to go to Amazon and try to rank on Amazon, this is limited by how many searches Amazon gets for that particular keyword. However, Google is getting a lot more searches, so if I was to rank on Google with my Amazon product, I'm gonna get built-in traffic for free automatically in a super easy way. And this is the key to finding hot niches. So what we're gonna do is go to our keyword tool, type Amazon in like this, then we're gonna take one of our keyword joggers here, like journal or planner or whatever it is, we're gonna take that keyword, we're gonna put that as the isolator to include only keywords on Amazon that include the word agenda books. Then we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna get all kinds of good stuff that we can use to make low content books to make lots of money. Take a look at all these agenda books people are searching for and how many times they're being searched for on the search engines. We could go through and see results for the word journal. Over 23,000 people a month looking up journal. Then we could scroll down and see they're looking up five minute journal, Gravity Falls journal, journal notebooks, travel notebooks, Bible stuff, five minute, Leatherbound, Amazon journals, manifestation journals, dream journals, prayer journals, and more. And if we were to look at the keyword prayer journal here, we could see it's very difficult on Amazon. However, it's not that difficult here on Google. Dot grid notebook, self care journal, book of shadows journal, and on and on we go. We can even see some results for the word planner, daily planner, student planner, meal planner, law of attraction planner and all kinds of other planners people are looking up like crazy. Even contractor planners with a competition of only six. Hourly planner, for those neurotic types who plan everything to the minute. Undated planner, there's a great example of a low content book you could put out with an undated planner. All you do is have daily stuff without the date. Competition's pretty much nothing. And we could see in Jungle Scout here, 9,000 searches a month in Amazon alone. Are you starting to get the idea? We also have coloring books. You can see all kinds of different coloring books people want. However, these are a little bit difficult to create. We also have prayer books. People are looking these up all the time. All kinds of guitar tablature books, fitness logs and fitness books and templates and all kinds of things like that. Different books for people wanting to track various different things inspirational quotes, positivity quotes, quotes about life. Quotes books are super easy to make. Agenda books, writing prompts. That one's got 43,000 searches a month. Drawing ideas, creative writing prompts, art prompts, Bible prompts, and on and on we go. And using this method where we're isolating the keyword and what Amazon is already ranking for, we can actually take an idea out of these keywords 
do a deep dive on it, like here we have pregnancy journal or pregnancy tracker or whatever it is, we can isolate this and say, okay, we have pregnancy journal here. This is getting quite a few searches. We put it into our Amazon keyword tool and now we find all different things for pregnancy journals, baby memory books, pregnancy guides, pregnancy trackers, which leads into an expensive market where people are buying these journals and everything looks great. We can actually take this and start to build our low content book about something that we know is getting traction. Now, the key to making this work is instead of going out there and making a bunch of journals with a bunch of pictures, hoping that someone buys one, our job is now to make a really, really good pregnancy journal. Maybe you could go through and make like a nine month plan. Again, the content's not that hard to do. It'll take you three or four days to put together at the most. And this thing could actually make you a lot of money because now you're providing some value to the marketplace in doing the research. Go get some books on pregnancy and how long it takes and what to expect or whatever it is. Or if you're a woman out there that went through pregnancy, you could actually kind of do this from memory and what you remember and what your experience was like and what you wish you would have had back then. And you could do this with literally anything, whether it's a recipe book, or even if you're going through something simple like a grocery list book, which over 400,000 people a month are searching for. Low carb grocery list, printable grocery list, keto grocery list, vegetarian grocery list, this stuff is super easy. Then what we're gonna do in number five is look at other promotion methods. Remember how I said like most people just put these books on Amazon and hope for the best? We don't wanna do that. We're marketers, we're not hopers. So what we need to do is we need to take our book, our low content book that we put on Amazon. Okay, of course we're gonna put it on Amazon because I don't wanna go out there and print these and ship them from my garage. I tried that years ago. It was a pain in the butt and it wasn't really worth the profit margin. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna put this on Amazon. We're gonna let them take care of the fulfillment and everything like that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our price a little bit higher than the other people. So if other pregnancy journals are like 12 bucks, I'm gonna put mine at like 29 bucks, but I'm gonna make it that much better, okay? It doesn't have to be like crazy good. It just has to have that little extra bit attached to it and a reason why. Why is this better? It's gonna track you through your pregnancy, show you the trimesters, and give you ideas on what you need to do for each one and what you need to record for your baby for long term or whatever it is. Okay, so we're gonna make it a little bit better. We're gonna charge a little bit more. Now, most people charge less than the competition because they're fighting on Amazon for the prices. Like right now, if you were to go on Amazon and look at this stuff, it's like 17 bucks, 12 bucks, nine bucks, 18 bucks, 10.99, whatever. Now, here's what happens. This is basic psychology. If you're listing on Amazon with all the people looking on Amazon, yes, price is gonna be a factor, right? They're gonna look at it and be like, well, I want the cheapest one. Or they might actually look at it and say, I want the most expensive one. Sometimes I do that because I think I'm getting a better product and usually I am. Like this fancy gaming chair costs like 300 bucks. Other chairs are 50 bucks but this is a better quality product and it looks nice on the videos, right? So we gotta look at this and we gotta understand pricing. Now, we also have to understand pricing because you're gonna do other promotion methods that are gonna make you stand out and pricing isn't gonna be a factor because you're gonna be the only one standing out. And the way you're gonna do this is this. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna take your book and you're gonna say, okay, I have a pregnancy journal or PJ for short. What I'm gonna do is maybe I'm gonna make a YouTube channel about pregnancy steps and how to journal your pregnancy. Get a bunch of traffic from YouTube, drive them back to your Amazon, they ain't gonna care that the thing's 29 bucks because they like your YouTube. Much like people really don't care what I price my stuff at because I'm on YouTube giving away lots of value, people can't help but order my stuff, right? So we go through and we're like, okay, we can do YouTube. We can also go through and make a blog. I can also go through and do Pinterest, right? What if you actually Pinterest every page of your journal? Like here's all the journal pages. You put a watermark and you say, order this nice journal over here, right? Very simple. 
We can also do, uh, maybe we can go out there and do a Medium post, right? Medium is free to post on, we can do that. Or maybe you're gonna go do Instagram and you get a bunch of uh, pregnant people on Instagram that are interested in your journal or pregnancy quotes or whatever it is. Or maybe you're doing like Law of Attraction, right? There's Law of Attraction journals and you can make a better Law of Attraction journal with better quotes and better ideas that'll help them manifest even better or whatever it is they do. And you could do that on Instagram and YouTube and all kinds of things like that. The key is in promoting this offsite. You can even do a press release and say, New for 2022, the pregnancy journal you wish you always had. You rank the press release for the terms you want to get ranked for. Since it links to Amazon, Google's going to pick up Amazon faster than a squirrel in a nut house. Rank that bad boy at the top. And now you're going to get automated sales in a method where you stand out all on your own. And doing this, now you have the content to go for. Because if you have the journal or the idea, Instead of just making llama journals, you're out there making something of value that people are going to get a lot of use from, which is really easy to promote. And of course, you're going to benefit because the more sales you get from other methods, the higher you're going to go on the Amazon ranking, the more sales you're going to get from them. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a real business out of Amazon low content books. And number six, what we're going to do is we're gonna stack these methods on top of each other. So you're gonna go out there. You're gonna have your Amazon ranking for your low content book. You're gonna get a press release. You're gonna go out and make a YouTube channel, a blog, and everything. And you're gonna drive all this stuff back to your Amazon ranking, which is gonna boost it up. And then on top of it, you're gonna add a page in your book that leads to a bonus. Maybe they're going to get tips on pregnancy or tips on law of attraction or tips on finance or budgeting or whatever it is your low content books about. That's going to drive them back to your blog, getting more and more stuff, giving them bonuses and giving them overload. Because ladies and gentlemen, if someone is getting a pregnancy book or pregnancy journal, they're going to have a baby. And my kids just turned about 18. And I can tell you from experience, kids cost a lot of money. So you could have tips like sign up for life insurance or sign up for a college plan or this or whatever it is. Because so many low content book publishers are leaving money on the table like they're allergic to it or something. As a business owner, I want to make as much money as possible in an ethical, good way where I'm helping my customers. And low content books is a perfect way to go about it. And in number seven, what we need to do is we need to think about the title and the cover because this is what's going to sell your book. Instead of something like The Good Pregnancy Journal, why not have something like The Pregnancy Journal that's going to make your pregnancy unforgettable or something really, really catchy that's going to work. And if you realize that your title is like a headline, that's very important. And to learn more about how to create a title, I have linked in the description of this video a video on headlines. Headlines and titles are pretty much the same thing. Also, I have some other videos in the description that talk about my SEO methods and how to put all this together. But if you start to look at what Amazon's already ranking for, and then you create your entire low content book business around this, boom, you're going to take off like crazy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Check out the videos in the description, and I'll see you in the next training.